Hello, so today we are going to model a Kindle in Blender with subdivision surface. So file, new, and we are going to start right after this. Learn how to model hard surface products in Blender. So you want to learn 3D modeling. I just created a new course where I teach beginners how to get started with modeling products with a subdivision surface and universal all quads topology workflow. I know that 3D modeling seems very complicated when you first start discovering it. You have to learn all the tools that Blender or another 3D software has to offer. You have to know all the hotkeys, learn how to create shapes only using polygons, and this can be overwhelming and a very long process. Maybe you already tried modeling some projects and it was not a success. You are thinking of giving up and you are learning way too slowly or maybe you don't have enough resources or good methods to really learn how to model. And don't worry because I made a course for you. It is not a 10 hour course that you can't finish. It is only a three and a half hour course where we model together a complete project and it is big enough friendly. And I made a coupon code for this new course only available for a few days. So if you are seeing this, maybe it's not too late to activate the code and get this course with 50% off. This course I teach you all the most used techniques by 3D modelers to model products easily, all the odd keys, the best tools, the most simple way to make something from scratch. So join the course now by clicking the link in the description and don't forget to use the code SUBD50 at checkout. See you there. So first we get the cube X and we delete and we are going to put a reference image of a Kindle. So you have the link in the description for the same ima image I'm going to use. Shift A, image and reference. We get the image and we need to put this uh, straight like this. So I go on top Z axis here and on the image empty here, we go in rotation, we click, we drag down zero, zero. And then we can put a little transparency. So object data properties, opacity, put a little less like this. And we are going to put mesh a plane, shift a mesh plane. So when we get a plane and not a cube, because first we're going to do the top and then you see the other side, you have this um, shape, round shape. So the other side is smaller than the top. So we can extrude and then we can scale to make it smaller. So numpad 7 to go on top and we are going to move the image. So it is exactly like this. We get this and this we can go in a um, wireframe. We can see and the image I'm going to put like this. S X we can go here and see there is this little gap here. So the screen is here then this part and then a little gap and another part. So we are going to create this little gap and then extrude down. So like this is good. this then s y okay like this move the image scale the plane like this And then 
we need to round these parts here. So we don't need to um, bevel, put a lot of segments in the bevel. We need to keep this low poly because we are going to put a subdivision after. So it's going to subdivide everything. So at these points, do a select everything and then we can do a bevel. Shift Control B and first we need to apply the scale because we scale this. So if we do N, we go on item on object mode, the scale here, or you can see in object um, properties, the scale here. So we get the plane, come on A, apply scale. Then here we get everything with A, Shift Control B to bevel the vertices here. And we can scroll up, put um, three segments here, like this. Now that we beveled, we need to join the points to create quads on this. So we can use the subdivision and it's going to subdivide correctly. So vertex select, we are going to get these in edit mode, of course. J to join, uh, we can get these, these and the bottom one, like this, and then we can do a symmetry. We don't need to get everything, and then uh, we can get this, like this, A, mesh, symmetrize. So from X, see on here, X axis to minus X, so in the little window here, and put plus x to minus x, like this. And we can do also, we can do it again for the bottom, but just going to do it like this. Like this. Now we can put the image back, and you see these points, it is, it's exactly at the screen. We can use these to create the shape of the screen. And here we need to add a new segment to create the screen. But first, what we are going to do is create this little gap here. So face select, we can do A to select all the faces and then do an inset to create these I can put it um, here. We can go here to see. And then I again. So we have this little part here. Is you can select everything. So when we do Alt and we click, it's not selecting all of these. We can click here, do Control, and then go all around. Like this. Control click. And here. And then this need to extrude down with this little gap. So first we need to add support um, loops. So we need to do I. So when we add the subdivision, this part is going to be sharp. So do like this. If we add the modifier subdivision and this, we do E, we put down. Not sharp, it's really round. So I again a little bit here to create support edges here and then E and disable the subdivision then E just a little bit like this to create another loop here then E again to extrude down like this one well, then we put the subdivision going to be sharp now now compared to before and then can create the 
and screen put the image put x-ray and face select we can select this but first we can add a loop cut so ctrl r click drag down give a little space like this so we can do an inset on these and then face select select these faces to create the screen then you can do i put here and then e to extrude down here and then e again like this and then all the bottom of the screen to be flat if we put the sub d here to see what it's doing it's like this and the image you can put the image down so go back in object mode image gz like this this part not really flat everywhere here so put an inset eye like this for this edge mm, this be sharp and then there is another problem did you see the shape it's not rectangular so with the subdivision this shape is going from this to the other loop cut here it is rounding everything so we need to add support loop cuts Control r click and you see it is not is more rectangular now Control b to bevel so we can add two and now you see the shape so these we're going to put very close to this one s y for example here and then we need to put on the other side or this part here so we already have these so we can get this control b and put it like this and now instead of going from here to here it's going from here to here so this part is only round and not everything now what we can do also is add a new one here give more support to this here control are click escape and we check the shape and also it is not very straight here so we need control r click escape you can do control b like here now it is better and this one you can do it too but it is fine here now we have the screen and gg I'm going to put closer here alt click gg like this and then a i'm going to symmetrize this to this and first um, this i'm going to put a little bit closer alt click G, G, maybe like this. Select everything with A in edit mode, mesh, symmetrize, and from minus X to X. So I look here and I see minus, so here, from here. From plus x now this is really round this is more rectangular but still 
smooth and then we need to do the other part so edit mode edge select get this and see and um, this part is really is, is really round so we don't need to create the same support loops so e to extrude z on z axis so for example here so this is more round and then it's really round and we need to scale and then e z then s and we don't want to scale on z axis So to make sure that it is not scaling on Z axis, S, scale and shift Z like this. So it is only on Y and on X. Put this smaller like this, for example. We can also um, create another loop cut here. So this I'm going to put um, smaller like this. Like this and then create a face here but first i'm going to create a loop cut here Control r click escape and this we can scale s shift z g g put this a little down we have this shape and then here we need a face so Edge select, Alt, click here, and we can do face grid fill to directly put a grid, and then we can change the grid with the little window here. Grid fill, span, change. I'm going to put like this. I think it looks good. Now it looks like this. This I'm going to put down a little bit. These two. Um, G Z. So now the the shape is like this. I can go on the other side. Hide this, and I am going to face a select. Get this. Put this a little down, GZ, like this. Um, right click Shade Smooth and check this part. Maybe you can add a little support here. If it is too round, Control R, click Escape, like this. This you can put down a little bit more if you want and then you have a little button here you see on the image so you can create this button so to create the button i'm going to go on top and then uh, go on x-ray duplicate this image shift d hide the first one and then uh, I can go on wireframe, get the image that we duplicate, move like this. We have the button here, like this. Now I'm going to get a cube, shift A, cube, S. Move it here where the button is here. Go on numpad one, numpad three to go on the side. The mm, cube is here, S, Z. We can move it here. Z, solid. 
so it is approximately here so now i can click on my plane on the kindle tab to go in edit mode and you see you don't really have a lot of geometry here and we need to create a face here so what you can do is here in the subdivision modifier you can do optimal display here go back in object mode and go in um, wireframe and you see optimal display it is displaying all the wireframe if the um, subdivision is applied all the geometry so if i put out one there is less and you see now we have more geometry to create this so you can apply this modifier to be able to create a little button if you don't have enough geometry so i'm going to apply at level one not too much not at two but one apply and also before applying i'm going to duplicate this to make a copy of the kindle with the subdivision not applied so shift d here then i can hide like this then this it was just for reference this one i can level viewport one i can apply and now i can go back in solid this is going to be the side here and we need another one here so we can get this one or just create another loop cut control r put here and we need this straight because if we create like this the button is going to be a little deformed so s um, s x zero enter alt click s x zero enter g g to move this like um this and then face select get these faces and this is going to create the button you can hide the cube i do a little inset and e extrude y on y um like this i do a little inset e y and then extrude outside like this now it is looking like this so we put a subdivision again subdivide and you see this shape we want a more rectangular shape so we need to add oops loop cuts here edit mode the camera i'm going to hide here Control r click escape Control b like um, this like this then we put the subdivision at two and if you want this straight and get the face you can do um s y zero enter for example like this like a button like this or like this and here you can add a loop cut on this give a little support here s um, x I'm going to put more like this Q 
control plus so i get more move this a little bit and um if i want to put this smaller i think it is a little big compared to the kindle edit mode x-ray vertex select here I get um, this. I make sure that I don't have other points. So I have this. So I can do B, Shift, click and select, deselect this. Then here, S, and I don't want to scale on Y. Like if I S S shift Y just a little bit like this and then go back in solid and X ray and that's it. Uh, I think it is still too big. Control plus, Control plus. Control minus. Like this. And then you have your Kindle here. This we can hide. RX and RX90 here. So I hope this tutorial helped you to understand more how to model with subdivision in Blender. And you have just a few days left to get 50% off on my new course Subdi Modeling, where we are going to model a whole project and I'm going to show you the best tools, the simpler method to model very fast. You have the link in the description. So see you in another video. Bye.